Hear the voice of the living God. Prepare you the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Let every mountain be made low and every valley exalted. Make the straight place, the crooked places straight, the rough places plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life that no man comes to the Father except through Him. There is a darkness over our cities, America. There is a darkness over our city and sin has run rampant. Wickedness abounds, but God loves you and He wants to bring restoration to our cities. I am here because I love your soul and I want you to understand that the glory of the Lord can be revealed if we turn back to Him and seek His face. We are living in perilous times where the love of many has grown cold. Wrong has become right. Right has become wrong. We seek our own ways, living in the lust of the flesh and the passions and pride of life. We have killings happening all around us, blood being spilled across our sidewalks, and yet we continue as if though nothing is happening. I am here because I love you and I want you to know that God loved you so much that He sent His Son to die for you so that you might get healing for your soul and be given the promise of eternal life. I am willing to be mocked and scorned so that you might have the opportunity to be saved. Ladies and gentlemen, eternity is forever. Eternity is forever. See, the Bible says this life is but a vapor and then we are gone and then we stand before the judgment seat of Christ and we will all account for every word and deed that we have performed. But the righteousness of Christ can transform you, live through you, renew you, take away your anxiety and your pain, your fear, your regret, your shame. There is no... Any sin that you've committed against God can be forgiven except for one, which is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Believe in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn to Him. Lay yourself upon the altar and surrender your life to God. It is the will of God that no man should perish. I am here because I love your soul. I am not here to condemn you. I am here to speak life into your weary soul so that you know that there is a way out of the evil which surrounds you. The Bible says that God is light and in Him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we love Him and yet continue in sin, walking in darkness, the truth is not in us. Yet if we walk in the light as He is in the light, the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all unrighteousness. For God loved us so much that He sent His Son to die so that we might be saved. And this is the hope that we have. He has a light in the midst of darkness, a beacon of hope in the night. He loves you. He wants you to go to Him, surrender your heart, ask for forgiveness for your sin, turn from your ways. He will give you the strength to do the things that you cannot do. He will restore peace and love in your soul and give you a promise for tomorrow. Prepare you the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Let every valley be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low. Let the crooked be made straight and the rough places be made plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord that spoken it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that the Holy Spirit fire of God would fall and turn hearts and minds back to you so that we can find restoration and healing in our lands. Okay. I'm here because I love you. I want you to have the opportunity for eternal life. I am desperate for your soul. Have you thought about eternity? What are you going to do when you perish? There is life after death, ladies and gentlemen, and it lasts for forever. Where will you stand before God? How will you give account for your sins? Will the blood of Jesus cover you? Do you have an advocate to the Father? Have you been forgiven? We profess in Jesus, and yet we continue in sin that grace might abound. How can it be so? We have churches on every corner and yet our world is evil. The love of many has grown cold. 
I'm here because I love you. I'm here because I want you to know that Jesus loves you. There is a message of hope. There is light in the midst of darkness. You don't have to continue in sin that grace might abound. You don't have to continue in the fear and the hurt and the worry and the anxiety. God can't bring healing to your soul. When I was 17, I was addicted to meth. But you know what? Jesus Christ redeems, cleanses, heals. He's changed me, given me purpose. God loves you, ladies and gentlemen. He wants me to be here so that you might have the gift of eternal life. You can't do right by yourself. You can't do good on your own. It is only when the righteousness of Christ fills your soul that you are able to do the things that he has laid out in his book. Is the holy word of God infallible, inerrant, profitable for reproof and instruction? There is only one truth I know, and that is Jesus Christ, that he is the way, the truth, and the life. I hope you know I love you and I want you to have eternal life, that you have an advocate to the Father and He loves you so much. But we are all condemned in our sin until we accept Jesus as our Savior. We are at enmity with God until we are brought into reconciliation through the blood and the atonement and the sacrifice that He gave on the cross. That if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised Him from the dead, then we will be saved. The Word of God says that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the Bible also says that there is none righteous, no, not one. So how can this be? It is when we lay ourselves down upon the altar of God, surrendering our heart to Him, that His righteousness, His goodness begins to live through us and give us the ability to follow His instruction and to keep His laws. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. It's not about cultural Christianity. It's not about living in the flesh and you're professing Jesus. It's about living wholeheartedly before God, knowing that He can lift you up from the pit that you are in and give you hope for tomorrow. I'm not going to take a lot of your time tonight, but I want you to understand that I'm here for your soul. I have a care and a love for your soul. I'm not trying to disrupt your night, but it's so very important that you hear the truth because you don't see the truth on TV. Everything they talk about with Christianity on TV is a lie. It is a distortion of the truth. The devil, the ruler of this world, wants to pervert the perfect word of God so that you believe a lie, so that you might be damned. But if you get in God's word, if you read it, believe his truth, understand that his word can turn you into a righteous creature as he lives through you as a vessel, an instrument of his righteousness to glorify him in all words and deeds, that he is the light and in him there is no darkness, that his grace is sufficient for you because his strength is made perfect in your weakness. Ladies and gentlemen, I love you. I want you to know that God loves you. This is not a message of condemnation, but the truth is if you do not know Jesus, you are condemned already. Turn to the living God. Believe in him. Trust in him with all of your heart. And he will give you life and life more abundantly. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom.